chat there too. Oh, so we can. I'm just gonna put this in Discord. We get started. Well, welcome one, welcome all to part two of our raggedy fan streams. Key difference is, is I'm playing now, now playing on the Wii, and we're not gonna have to suffer input lag due to using an emulation on the big screen. Yeah, and I'm very I'm thankful playing, for that. It's actually funny, we, uh, to get to this place, because it, it wouldn't transfer the save state, we played through the entire game all over again, and, you know, it took us about an hour and a half last time, this time maybe 20 minutes? Oh, shit. <laughs> I'm just gonna, I forgot to save anyway. I got five lives, so no big deal. Sort of just how was it? Um, I 
feel like I was like one of the only people who didn't care about that show at all. Probably you too, if I'm guessing who knows, but... Mm -hmm. <laughs> Are you even bothering? <laughs> I don't even know. What the hell is this thing? You can jump off it. Oh, it okay. makes you jump over. I'd save soon. Just I want to see if I can beat here. these levels without doing the save state. Yeah, I guess so. Since we're not doing it on the... Oh, there's a platform there? What the fuck? There wasn't a platform there before. Yeah, that's... Oh, because I got hit by the platform and... Oh, and it busted? Yeah. Oh, that sucks. What is this fucking ghost dude? I don't know. I don't know if it's a good or bad thing that I'm not more up to date on Raggedy anymore. What the hell are you supposed to do? Oh, oh, what the fuck? Uh, you're supposed to jump on him. I think I'm supposed to jump over him. That seems like a big gap, even with that extra jump. Okay, I guess you were right. How did I make him? Come up because he didn't come up the first time. Hmm. What the fuck? Is Slippery, but that's the. It's not the. It's not the input lag this time because yeah. there is no input lag. Now okay. at least it kind of feels like my fault when I die. Yeah. <laughs> Did not feel like that before. It felt like ultra slippery, like. Oh fuck! Oh. Oh wow. <laughs> I like how, how people instinctively turn their bodies yeah. when they think that it might help them. <laughs> it's just like, follow my lead, Andy. Fucking no! Doesn't seem to be doing anything. I'm like watching your health not suffer from that. Might kill that cat. I don't know. I think I tried to. Whatever. Haha! <laughs> I surpassed you. What the oh fuck? fuck shit! I didn't do do that on purpose. Jump on, jump no, on. I, can't, I I could not move there. I'm not even joking. You're hoping for a despawn. Oh, it has happened. Fuck! He would not move. Oh. What? Okay, that was a glitch. That was not my fault. That's weird. Overall, it's really good, and the actor who plays Dahmer does a terrific job all the way through. I might have to rewatch it to see if I really like it. Okay. I don't know. That sounds like kind of like a backhanded compliment when you really think about it. The guy who plays Dahmer does a really good job? Yeah. <laughs> uh, that's like complimenting someone on being really good at being a piece of shit. <laughs> oh, man, you do a really good job of being a... a goddamn piece of shit that is a piece of shit and oh man you do a really good job at it it's, it's great i can't <laughs> that's kind of like funny because like some actors do get uh into trouble for that like uh oh what's the guy who played uh who played harvey Keitel in the dark knight that guy's name i don't even know i didn't really watch the dark knight oh, oh. Fuck. but uh yeah I mean, he played that asshole in a bunch of movies, and that caused a bunch of people to think that he was an asshole. Like, yeah. This is a, I'm an actor. This is my job. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you do a really good job of being a piece of shit. <laughs> this is going to be your career from now on, <laughs> being a piece of shit, because you're so good at it. 
And some people, <laughs> they ride that wave, yeah. and they're just a piece of shit, and they make a career out of it. Fuck. Yeah, re recapturing shit. Yeah, I captured it in a bottle. <laughs> well, he did a great job of uh, right, capturing shit. shit. Okay. I can kind of see it there. Hey, you look like someone who'll take off my arm and put it in your freezer. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't. I, you know. Oh, what so it doesn't. Let, it doesn't let you. It's what. It, yeah, it doesn't let you apparently. So you have to jump over that gap. That's kind of what it looks like. Okay, I actually am gonna save when I get back to that part because that is bullshit. Well, you're breezing through this part now. Since It's true, maybe I'll be really good at jumping over rats and alligators by the time this uh, level ends. Oh, whoops. Well, this is kind of fascinating, seeing the events that created such a person like that. I don't disagree. I mean, yeah, it is fascinating. Uh, oh, no! Uh, oh, shit. That spawn again? Probably. I wish the screen would be so stupid. Oh, fuck. You have to go back right away. Yeah. Jump on that tree and jump over. Oh. Just gotta watch yourself. Oh, wait, now that thing is gone. What the fuck? What thing? The thing that bounced me up there. Oh. Do you have to go back even further now? Oh. Game's fucking weird. All right, I'm gonna pretend that didn't happen. Maybe I'll watch Dahmer someday, but I think, isn't there like movies about Dahmer that are also? Yeah. Yeah, wasn't there like one in the early 2000s? Yeah. So I don't know, maybe I could watch that instead. It's kind of a boring subject for me. I've dated a woman, I've dated this one woman who's absolutely obsessed with killers. There's a lot of girls that are like that. That's the thing that people don't realize is women have this huge fascination with serial killers. No, 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 no! Please don't die, please don't die! Okay, I'm gonna save here. Blinky, have you seen Pixar's Elemental? I've been wanting to see it, but keep hearing mixed things. I have not seen that, no. Okay, here's the thing about Elemental. Is I saw, me and Ian went to see the, what, the Mario movie? I think so. And I'm pretty sure that was one of the... The, they showed off a trailer for Elemental. I think that. Oh yeah. That no, it was, was Elemental. It yeah, was definitely Elemental. And I thought right away, just looking at the trailer, that it was going to be fucking stupid. And what? It looks awful. Invaded save. Anyway, um, so yeah, I we, it, yeah, we it just looks like a really boring base Pixar movie to me that doesn't do anything special. And it seems to be the case. It's super boring. I just don't care. I don't even. It's not even on my radar. I mean, I've heard it's better than some people thought it was going to be. But that's like, that's not even a compliment. <laughs> I haven't heard, like, great things about it, to be honest, but, like, I've heard, like, it's a decent enough movie. I mean, do you have to kill that thing? What the hell? I don't know what I'm supposed to do here. Like, I, I jump on that and he freezes in place. Well, that's because that I'm pretty sure when that thing pops up, it's not letting you go by. It's literally, like, stopping you. I have a 
feeling that's like what the boss is going to be when we finally get there. Uh, I think I can make that jump, but... Really, I've kind of lost interest in Pixar in general. See, speaking. when he pops up, he freezes you. Yeah. I'm pretty sure I still still to use that jump to jump thing. Okay. But yeah. Okay, you are right. <laughs> well, at least you know now. <laughs> I forgot to ask this during the last stream. How do you think Game Dude was in person? Oh wait, how do you think Game Dude was a person? Huh? Well, I'm not sure what you're asking me. How do I think Game Dude was a person? It's because we know he exists. <laughs> he was a person. I think that his parents had sex at one point and they uh, created him. I don't think he was AI generated. I mean, that'd be funny and everything. But. <laughs> Yeah, I'm pretty sure he's not AI generated. So I'm pretty sure he exists and therefore he's oh, a person. Fuck. Oh, it's so dumb. I don't know. But if you're asking me how I think he was in person, most of the people I've talked to said he was a perfectly nice guy. Yeah, he doesn't seem like he would be such a bad guy, just a little mixed up. Yeah, a little bit uh, naive maybe in certain aspects of his life. But then again, aren't we all? I mean, if I met him, I, I, I'd probably shake his hand, sure. Oh, yeah. At this point, I think I'd have to. <laughs> He's like, hey, you built my career on YouTube, pretty much. Thanks for <laughs> existing before me. <laughs> <laughs> so I can talk about you. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck! So this guy's Why do I feel like saving is a good thing here? Uh, maybe if you don't want that. Uh, Lol. Lol. Okay, I'm going to save now. Yeah, that's what I meant. Well, sorry. Yeah, I think he was uh, probably... I mean, I'm sure that he went a little bit... Uh... He seems kind of maybe a little bit antisocial, though, if I were to guess. Mm -hmm. Pretty typical. Yeah. He's a bit of a... Uh, what's the word? Recluse? No. He's a bit of a snob. Yeah, he certainly was about video games. <laughs> yeah, he's like a video game snob, pretty much. <laughs> That's why he didn't like care about anyone else's opinion too much. Or like, he, he he was in his own little world. Probably still is. Yeah, it's just not. I mean, he's not not a bad guy. I don't really. I wouldn't consider it like. He's he's an interesting case study, if anything. Yeah. I sort of view his story as more. If anything, I just view it as like be careful because like you know you get so he didn't do anything so awful though I, yeah like it's like like I mean, it, it, in a lot of ways there's there's a lot of things I can I can identify with him and I can understand like his emotions and everything so well. yeah empathetic I, I I'm empathetic too sure oh. whoa whoa really Oh, there's a big clown face there. Yeah, that's the... Oh, I know that dude. That guy's from Looney Land in the Raggedy Ann movie. Mm -hmm. Where am I going now? Oh. Yeah, you gotta watch that. I thought I saved that for this oh, part. So did I. Uh, but there are, like, some things, like... In those court documents... Like, there's people, there's like accusations of domestic violence, but all that he really did was like he hugged Alana when she didn't want him to hug her. It's not really what I call domestic violence. Yeah. It's non consensual, I guess, but. Whatever. I mean, you can consider anything violence if, if you. Um, if you touch someone without their permission, like, and if they don't like it, I mean, you could consider that like uncomfortable or something, but that's not really the same thing. I know some 
girl who had her arm bruised because her ex-boyfriend would not let her leave because she wanted to break up with him. It's like, that's way worse than anything Game Dude ever did. And that's just like a small Save. story. There's probably a lot worse stories that I've heard that I don't want to say on stream. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just gonna double save, make sure that I did. No data to save. What the fuck? Okay. Did it save? Yeah, it did. But you know what? Just to be extra fucking sure, I'm gonna do it again. You have to go to. There we go. Now it's saved, I know that. didn't even seem to bounce you properly. It did not. Five seems to be the top. Actually, this is where you should have seen it. Oh, well. oh yeah, you're right. <laughs> God. Like, this game, like, for some reason... Oh, damn it. Oh, that was just stupid. This game for some reason just wants to put in these impossibly, like, hard jumps, <laughs> just randomly. And slippery. Another question I forgot to ask is... Thoughts on Doug Walker slash The Nostalgia Critic? Oh, really? <laughs> you want to bring that up? <laughs> Seriously? We were just talking about that uh, before the stream, the fucking wall review and everything. Yeah, um, we, bring, we tend to talk about that from time <laughs> to time. Now, to be fair, I did watch Nostalgia Critic when, like, he first came out. So did I. I did, too. Oh, fuck. I shouldn't have done Back that. Back when I was still watching Angry Joe. Yeah. But, but to I say that his videos do not hold up is an understatement. It's just... <laughs> it only raises more questions. A lot, his, his content. And his mentality. Oh. And his... Where is his head at? Yeah. It's just so fucking... He, uh, you know those people that are just aggressively wrong about something, <laughs> about everything? Well, well in terms of the wall, anyway. <laughs> yeah, he's mostly aggressively wrong. I don't know, fuck that guy. I don't know, most of his, like, when he's just doing a vlog or something, it's not that bad. When he's trying to be funny is the issue. Oh, yeah, <laughs> and he totally misses the mark, and he, like, it's like trying oh, to serve up baseball and throwing it in the completely wrong direction. He just turns around and then throws it out to the outfield. Yeah. That's pretty much how it, how I see it. Yes! Yes! Not so doing that ever again. Fuck you. Fuck you, no data to save. You're just hitting the wrong thing. Yeah. Though. But yeah, you know. Uh, yeah. Things... I'm not sure how he got uh, uh, Corey Taylor to... Uh, work with him on that piece of garbage wall review like what am I supposed to hit here is it, is it, I'm pretty oh, sure it's the hand, hand. okay I, uh, I don't know it only like Corey Taylor just wants to be everywhere he's like oh man I, I played for Slipknot I'm so cool and I got, <laughs> oh, I got a, a solo project that's my name so. hello lads oh hey you're finally home oh hey welcome to the chat we were just complaining about Doug Walker, and then I was complaining about Corey Taylor from Slipknot because the correlation is there. Wasn't he on um, on AVGN at one point too? Corey Taylor? Yeah. I don't even know. I had a feeling he was, or I'm thinking of something else. But he tends to hang out with those like old video game nerd weirdos, like not necessarily like angry. You know what I mean, but. That's a perfect Corey impression. <laughs> Do it. Thanks. <laughs> Fucking Corey Taylor. The guy's like, I didn't oh. even get a line. I didn't even get a line. This is a review. It's, it's the complete opposite of what that was. <laughs> it was a parody. That's all it was. It was a stupid off-mark parody. Who lives in a pineapple under the sea? Yeah. 
This guy doesn't look happy. Is he still gonna bounce me? Okay, he's still gonna do it. He's just gonna be unhappy while he bounces me. So stupid. <laughs> I'm trying to remember the other, like Corey Taylor has uh, collaborated with a couple of different YouTubers, but I just couldn't remember. But it's like, it's crazy like the people Nostalgia Critic can get on his show. He got like the guy who played, he did like an Avatar The Last Airbender review and he got the guy who played Zuko. Oh, oh right, like, yeah. Prince Zuko. Yeah. I don't know. It's almost Everything like about that, like... That yeah, fucking... sadly, Doug Walker's newer stuff doesn't really do it for me, but I do like it when he reviews stuff out of character, and I always enjoyed his Disney Sembers. And that's what I mean when he's just saying his opinion. It's not that bad. He just is, like, another, you know, vlogger. But when, he's try when he puts on that hat and tie and he's trying to be funny, it's unbearable. It's cringe. <laughs> <laughs> he thinks he's being ultra clever by comparing <laughs> things that can't be compared to like he's in a cool rad band but likes nerdy stuff too what <laughs> wow that's so cool yeah I'm Corey Taylor I run a 10 member Slipknot band you know with 10 members oh it's that guy from this from the Raggedy Ann movie oh, fuck, I can't even remember if, if Corey Taylor was 9 or not I think he was nine. Nine? Yeah, the number on from Slipknot. Oh, All right. of them were numbered, right? Yeah, I remember. I'm pretty that. sure the ba the the drummer was. Yeah, zero. no disrespect to Slipknot at all. Right? Actually, yeah, I, I have a lot of respect for Slipknot overall, but <laughs> Corey Taylor by himself. I mean, well, I don't know. So I don't know how he is as like a person or anything. I don't want to like shit on his character, who he is, but just what I, just, I know of him. Yeah. Um. It's impressive how he managed to actually like okay. keep together a that nine man or a ten easy. man band because that's that takes that takes effort. So I give him credit where it's due. Because I mean, shit, ten members. It's hard for some people to keep a four member band together. So oh, I keep pressing the wrong button there. I don't actually want to <laughs> do this mini game. Yeah, gonna cool. hurt. Whatever. But uh, yeah, yeah hurt. Stone Sour. That's the that's the band. I was trying to think of Stone Sour. Oh, okay, underwater. That's cool. Stone Sour always ma makes me think of like a lemon drop or something. I just want to have like a lemon candy when I think about it. That's hardcore, isn't it? Lemon candies. Yeah. Pretty fucking hardcore. What the fuck? Wow, this huh? is a terrible, terrible swimming. Swimming looks jank. Oh, fuck. I like to imagine the other eight members are still busy writing material for their next album, and they realize Corey was away again on yet another cameo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, probably. Doing a cover of the SpongeBob theme song for Nostalgia for, No, for uh. For well, that's what he did for the Wall Review. Oh well, yeah, I know that, but <laughs> like somewhere else, like that really that wouldn't really make any sense. Um, oh, fuck. Yeah. I'm trying to remember the show. Law and Order. That's the one I was thinking. Was he on Law and Order? No, but it would be funny. Like he's <laughs> doing another cameo on Law and Order. What? <laughs> And he's doing a he's doing a cover of uh, Chop Suey, but he's <laughs> <laughs> cover of Chop Suey in yeah. Law and Order. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> the classic Law and Order song, Chop Suey. Yeah. Every time I watch Law and Order, I just I think can't I wait. Blow the Wake way. up! Grab a brush, my little mega. What the fuck? Uh, How are you supposed to get there? Doesn't even look like you can swim down there. Okay. This. Okay, this is like my least favorite level so far. Is these? I mean, it's hard to even explain how these controls are, but they're not that good. We can start with that. Look, if she lands, it takes so long to get her fucking momentum going. Yeah. You guys ever see the Nostalgia Critics cameo in SpongeBob? Yeah, we were talking about that earlier too. I don't think Uno hasn't seen it, but no, I haven't. I haven't. It was pretty funny. <laughs> also, I think that was actually the Patrick Star show. But. Fuck 
you, you raggedy bitch. What the fuck? <laughs> I'm, in awe. I'm not going through this again, so. Fuck that. I always have to hit new and then it just overwrites the other one. That doesn't make any sense. It's a really dumb looking fish. Get away from me! Yeah, but it's kind of funny how Spongebob, which is a show that hasn't been funny in years, parodied the Nostalgia Critic that also hasn't been funny in years, and the result was actually pretty good. And the result is <laughs> it wasn't very funny. <laughs> like, well, no, you would expect it to not be funny. That's the point. It actually was. They missed out a great idea for that episode. Patrick gets into, gets out his wallet to pay for something, and Doug Fish screams, A Pat credit card? <laughs> swimming controls. I mean, actually, once you start swimming, it's actually not that bad, but fucking getting up is really, really difficult. Oh, my life. Story of my life. <laughs> what? I missed what happened there. I was looking at my phone. Nothing. You switched up. I just up. switched to a new level. I didn't yeah. even realize where I was going. To a new part of them. Okay, the shark doesn't hurt me? Yeah, it doesn't make any sense. <laughs> oh, okay, but the guy in the boat does. <laughs> this was an adorable shark, honestly. The fuck was that? Uh, there's so many enemies in this game that just don't hurt you, they just want to, like, not make you move, or not let you move. I don't think you can hit that guy. I thought you took him out earlier. I don't think so. Oh, okay. Oh, you can. Oh, okay, you can. it's just really hard to hit. Okay, is this treasure chest something that can open? I feel like it's just a set piece. Okay. I mean, we haven't seen that set piece before, so... Twice. Second one already. Actually, third. When you when you looked up when you were looking away. What would you say escaped. your movie of the year so far is? Uh, oh boy, that's actually an easy one. Can you guess what I, I would oh, think? Oh yeah, I know. Here's a Spider Man. Oh yeah. Yeah, that's a good. Yeah, I mean, Across the Spider Verse is good. Uh, I liked Past Lives. That was really good. And I did like Oppenheimer. Uh, but but I, yeah, maybe Past Lives. What about, uh, I might be thinking of a last year's movie. I'm trying to think what other good stuff came out this year. Everything All I Want, or is that oh, last year? That was last year. year. Yeah, okay. I don't think there's been some good stuff that's come out of this year. That was so good. Everything Everywhere? No, I haven't seen it yet, but I hear that's really good. It is really good. Yeah, I hear a lot of good things. Yeah. I really enjoyed everywhere. Everything everywhere all at once. That was my favorite movie of last year. A combination of good acting, good writing, and good presentation. Just like a very well balanced movie. This is a very uh long level. It would appear. Also, uh, we were. <laughs> the ship is in the middle of the ocean and it's underwater with a hole in it, and for some reason, there's no water inside. Past Lives or Bo is Afraid for my fave. Yeah, Bo is Afraid was good too. I don't know if I liked it as much as Ari Aster's other stuff, but it was pretty good. What other movies? I only really watched what. 
Was there another movie that we watched this year? Mario and Cocaine Bear. Oh right, yeah, that was that. This that. Oh my god. Cocaine Bear really oh, sucks. Oh my god, <laughs> no. That's such a that shit on the whole premise. Yeah, really. Jesus Christ, <laughs> it's such a good premise, and they just dog fucked the whole thing. Like I don't know how anyone could defend such a fucking piece of shit. Like at first, I wasn't entirely sure if I what to think about the movie. Yeah, exactly. I was and like, then I over don't time, I'm okay. like, but no like, way. Yeah, this the is more that you garbage. think about it, it's like, fuck, this is actually really bad. It's fucking <laughs> terrible. Like they introduce so many characters, either they kill them off or don't explain them, or or they like they make them an important part of the plot, but you only see them twice in the movie. They couldn't pin down a fucking. Yeah, there was like so many characters. Like, oh, they couldn't pin down much. a fucking tone. <laughs> To save their life. What is this? A, a suspense movie? Is it a slasher movie? Is it a horror movie? I mean, is you, it a comedy? Is it a? I think it was trying to be a comedy. Is it an indie? I mean, is it fucking? Is it supposed to be a low budget looking movie? Like, um, you know, if they wanted to go the low budget feel, they should have just got a guy in an actual bear suit. That would have been much preferable <laughs> yeah. than just like the CGI <laughs> thing showing up at like. For f- three minutes or whatever in the movie. And, and where was Danny Trejo? That's all I want to know. <laughs> Probably making a better movie. But he, he's in everything. <laughs> I mean, not everything, but, you know. Everything Dan- everywhere all Danny else. Trejo would have been a perfect addition to that movie. That might have saved the movie, even. Even if, you know what, two minutes of Danny Trejo in that movie would have saved the entire fucking movie. That's how bad it was. Oh, is this... I think I know this guy, but I think he's a good guy. Apparently not. Know. No, wait, I do remember this guy. This was like the sea creature of the deep. He was not a good guy. Seems like a pretty cool guy to me. Oh, well. <laughs> what am I supposed to hit on him? It's not his eyes. It's that little thing that he's producing bubbles out of? I don't know. Hey, oh, never heard of this game. Yeah. Welcome, Payday to a Destroyer. Um, oh, it's 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 our uh, which one call it? <laughs> the fuck? Um. Um. <laughs> this game is actually a hack of a game called Donald Land that only came out on the Famicom. But somebody made a Raggedy Ann themed hack of it, and we're, that's what we're playing. Uh, yeah. What am I supposed to do here? I'm in the extreme minor- minority of thinking this, but my favorite, my least favorite for this year was Asteroid City. Hated it. West movies have started to really push my patience for his overly quaint and quirky style. Cool. Um, I Very still like Wes Anderson. I did think Asteroid City was one of his worst movies, though. So. I don't even know. My name is. No idea. What the fuck was that? <laughs> what? What? The fuck was that? You just like died randomly. But yeah, I can understand anybody who like does not like Wes Anderson. Uh, not just because like his style is like kind of quirky, but also he doesn't really have that much variety in his like movies. They're all kind of the same quirky thing. And You're supposed to kill the bubbles. Okay, so how about... Is it bad? No, this game is actually pretty good. So, oh, no, um, it's not bad. Okay, how about the game of the year? For me, it's between Final Fantasy sixteen and Armored Core six. Starfield. Yeah, that's a good choice, probably. I haven't played it. But... Starfield. Game of the year. That's a good... I'm playing through Tears of the Kingdom right now, and I'm enjoying it. Actually, probably Pikmin 4. Yeah, Just because I'm a you. huge Pikmin fan, I've been waiting for that game forever, and it came out and it met all of my expectations, so. Yeah, probably Pikmin 4 for me. Is it bad? What about the movie? No, I love the movie. Raggedy Ann and Andy, A Musical Adventure? I'm going to do a podcast about it next uh, week. We're oh, starting the first episode of our there. podcast. So it is 
the bubble machine that he... Yeah, you have to hit it in the blue, blue part. Like, kind of like... That made no sense! I just die randomly! What the fuck is that shit? Alright, um... You have to hit that blue on the bottom there? Yeah, I know which one you mean, but... It's kind of a really specific one. Okay. There. We okay, go. so if I stay in that position, I don't know. Okay, sometimes it hits it and sometimes it doesn't. No, I meant Asteroid City. Oh, uh, I did. I mean, I wouldn't call Asteroid City bad, but I can see it was, in my opinion, uh, one of Wes Anderson's lesser movies. Oh, nice. I love a lot of his movies, don't get me wrong, but me and my friend both agreed calling ass turd si shitty for a suitable game dude pun. Ass turd shitty. That is something you would totally come up with. Yeah, I'll take the camel. Okay, I got a bomb. For me, Asteroid City and actually the, um, not the French Connection, the French Dispatch, uh, that was like, I feel Wes Anderson starting to go down a hill a little bit, but I thought Asteroid City was worse. Oh, can I, oh, okay, I can just do that, but that's cool. What? What? Okay, I don't even know. I'm currently playing the new Cyberpunk 2.0 update. How's that? Have you played the Cyberpunk since? Oh no. Wait one sec. Okay. So when the doctors explode, they drop <coughs> hearts. Fuck. <coughs> Looks like the dog is pertinent to something. Oh. What? This guy wants Super Mario RPG. Oh, okay. Hundred bucks. What? Hold on. What? Still deciding on my game of the year. Yeah, well. What about you? You're finally home. What's your game of the year? If you played in many games this year, I don't know. By the way, dude, I watched your marathon video if you're still in the chat, and uh, really good job. I actually found it fascinating. that appreciate it yeah no problem so yeah the guy who bought games off me the other day this is the same guy who messaged me for my super mario rpg oh okay <laughs> so he just decided he wanted more well i guess he <laughs> he probably didn't realize i had it for sale at the time I haven't played a lot of new games as opposed to remakes i mean that's kind of me too i don't usually buy new games when they come out I mean, <laughs> no shit, right? I'm playing Raggedy Land on the fucking... I mean, I guess this came out kind of recently, because it is a hack, but... <laughs> this is the type of game I play. Oh, okay. Fucking... What? Okay. <laughs> is this really the 
boss. Who the fuck are you? Thank you. Okay, you're welcome. I mean my new way, I've just been playing remakes. Really good ones though. Well, what remakes have you been playing? Here's a random question. Favorite Pixar movie? Ooh, that is a good question. Oh. First Incredibles. Yeah, that's a good one. I might have to go with Brad Bird's other masterpiece, though, Ratatouille. That and Wally. -E, those are my two favorites. Wally's -E pretty good, yeah. Pretty much everything from Toy Story 1 to Toy Story 3 is good. Yeah. Except for maybe Cars. <laughs> they had planes, didn't they? Well, that wasn't actually a Pixar movie. That was Disney. Oh. It was a spin-off of Cars. Dead Space 4 and Resident Evil 2. Resident Evil 2, the remake, is really good. I haven't played any of either of them. Apart from playing a couple hours of Tears of the Kingdom, I haven't played any games this year. Pur purely stuck to retro. My favorite game I played in general was the original Paper Mario. This is not a funny joke, but Cars 2. <laughs> I don't know, it made me laugh. It was kind of a funny joke. Yeah, Paper Mario. I mean, now Thousand Year Door is being remade and Super Mario RPG is being remade, so... But yeah, the original Paper Mario is one of the best Mario RPGs, in my opinion. It's I wouldn't say it's as good as some of the other ones, but... I would say maybe top four... My game of the year might be Atomic Heart. I've heard of that, but I don't know what it is. I think this is the last level of the Dark Woods. Wally Up or Toy Story 3 is my favorite Pixar. That's actually a good point. Toy Story 3 is very close to being my favorite Pixar movie as well. I'm not sure. It might be actually. Oh, fuck. And Up was great too. Cars 2 is just a very good movie though. Okay. <laughs> I'm happy you feel that way. Imagine if humanity was extinct and all the aliens had to salvage from us was cars too. <laughs> Tomator. The spy stuff was funny with the mayor. Or mater. I haven't even seen Cars 3 yet, because it's like, Cars 1 is just like the movie Doc Hollywood, but worse, and then Cars 2 is just not very good. <laughs> and then there's also that Cars show, Cars Life on the Road or whatever. Mm. Uh, can I nope. make... Yeah, this freaking cow... I like the music here. He came out of the theater saying it was one of the best movies he's ever seen. Oh wait, oh. <laughs> I skipped a few things. I remember going with my dad to see Toy Story 3 and he hadn't gone to the cinema for years and was really skeptical about seeing yet another sequel. He came out of the theater saying it was one of the best movies he's ever seen. Oh yeah, the Cars show? It's like Cars Life on the Road. It's like a new thing with Mater and uh, Lightning McQueen traveling across the country. Apparently it's not very good. Um, yeah, and I really love Toy Story 3. In my opinion, that was the best of the Toy Story movies. Although Toy Story 4 kind of ruined... Well, they didn't ruin anything, but it kind of was not that great of a movie. Okay, this is the actual main villain of the movie, so I like that he's this boss. So 
looks like Kirby, just with more design. <laughs> well, in the movie, he inflates to like a gigantic proportion, and then he gets popped by a parrot. Huh. How um, theatric. <laughs> That's a really... If you guys haven't seen Raggedy Ann and Andy, I mean, you should see it just to follow along with the podcast if you want to watch the podcast. But also, it's a really good movie. <laughs> I mean, if you guys are into podcasts. <laughs> well, yeah. Mike will probably not be on any episodes of the podcast. Unless he wants to be, but I don't think he wants to be. My favorite Pixar's have to be Up, Toy Story 2, The First Incredibles. Is the same still going? I thought we'd be done after that stage. But. Maybe I mean, Toy Story 2 I do like. I don't like it as much as 1 and 3. Oh, Castle World. This was probably the end. Yeah. That is. This is the end. One thing. Don't know why. <laughs> Tried so hard and come so far. And in the end, still killed myself. Oh. Yeah, all I did was hit my bladder. <laughs> you got him. Oh. oh, okay. Have you heard about Fairmont, a new drama with Greg Turkington as a main character? Saw it yesterday and I thought it was really good. No, I have not. I, I wonder why people hate care. Cars 2 as much. Uh, I just, for me personally, I didn't hate it. I don't think it's like a horrible. I, I've seen much worse animated movies, but. I don't know, I found it annoying, like, I don't really see what was the purpose of even, like, making them spies, like, what does that even have to do with cars, really? I mean, I understand they're spy cars, but, <laughs> then again, I don't, I feel like the first cars didn't really need to be cars either, because the thing about the first cars is that the Pixar kind of had an issue making humans, and then... They made The Incredibles, so they're like, okay, finally we figured out how to make humans look really cool in fucking 3D. And then their next movie was Cars? Like, that, that was a thing at all? That was a step backwards. Um, I don't even know where I'm supposed to go, so I'm assuming I have to go into that. Hey, it was different and I liked it. I mean, I, like I said, I'm happy if you like it. Like, <laughs> we can disagree. There's nothing. It's fine, yeah. yeah. It's not like we need to agree on everything. And what is up with this fucking thing? Okay, so you can go down it. I was pressing down. I mean, I assume you believe oh. me that I went on that and I pressed down a few times. Okay. I don't even know why I'm doing this. I'm really at the beginning of the stage, but whatever. This is probably the boss. Or never mind. That's just weird. Press up. I want to see what's over there. Castle a little bit. For Mario 2. Oh yeah. Kind of. Seems to be a non-linear part. Uh, Tuh. So close. Yeah. I saw Fairmount at my local indie cinema, so I'm not sure how easy it is for you. But it's worth checking out. Greg plays a therapist. Quite a surprise. Yeah, I mean, I will check it out. Probably. I mean, Vancouver Film Festival's coming up. I don't know if it'll be at that or not. Mm. The, the film festival? I couldn't sit around and watch movies all day. Oh, I couldn't have many times. Um, I used to be able to do that, but I just can't do that anymore. That's fair. There's so, so very little movies that can pull me in. Yeah, for me, I'm just a huge movie guy, so... I used to be a big movie guy. Till Probably just as much as video games. I won't say more, I won't say less, but I love it. I was more, always more into video games anyway. Yeah. Well, when I was a kid, I was like, pretty much just give me video games or give me death. 
<laughs> but now I like movies a lot too. And I also like TV shows, which is what the majority of my content is. So, um, Just check for you, and it's literally the first film that popped up. Okay, so it is at Vancouver Film Festival? That's cool. Oh, whoa. Oh, that's not acid. <laughs> it's just a green pool of water. I guess that makes sense. I mean, if the water's around a green background, it would actually be green water. So it's oh. just the brown ones that are going to make you fall. This is ridiculous, though. I mean, come on. <laughs> like, I can't push the screen. I mean, I guess there was no enemies there other than that. No traps other than that one thing. Oh, I like the moon in the background. This is actually starting to remind me of uh, Six Golden Coins a little bit. I guess a little bit. It's kind of reminding me of the dungeons from Kid Icarus a little bit too. Do you think Marvel ruined cinema a little bit? Uh oh, it starts in a half hour. Oh, I guess I'm not seeing it. <laughs> what? The, the Greg Turkington movie he was talking to me about. Oh, yeah. I don't know. Do you think Marvel's ruined cinema, Mike? <laughs> no. I, I think they ruined Marvel, if anything. I wouldn't well, I wouldn't even go that far, but still, I just. They kind of ruined the story, the, the, the fucking arcs. I don't know. They're. I feel like the people who say that like Marvel ruined cinema are people who just they're either really reactionary people like the quartering or you know whatever like people who just want to like talk about the head news story and how woke everything is or it's just people who just don't watch movies that are not about big franchises and it's like you know there's These so many movies, movies aren't for you, that's all Yeah, it exactly. It's like, I don't really watch Marvel movies because I just don't care. Because there's more <laughs> interesting movies for me to, you know, watch. It's just like, if you like them, just watch them. If not, who cares? I mean, they ruined blockbusters, maybe. They did not ruin cinema. No. Yeah, I really don't think cinema's ruined by them. That's if anything, silly. it might be imitate, it ruined by people imitating them like DC. And Marvel was just kind of doing its own thing, though, and then everybody jumped on that train. Cause it might have ruined the AAA space. Yeah, exactly. Movies. That's what I'm saying. Like, sh Okay, yeah, the Indiana Jones movie that came out this year, I heard it sucked. It's like, I didn't... <laughs> I wasn't expecting it to be good, though. It's like... Yeah. I don't know, like, people who say, like, oh, cinema and, you know, entertainment's just in the worst state ever. It's just, like, just try watching things that are not, you know, Marvel, that don't have Star Wars in the title, like... Yeah, it's the <laughs> audience are stupid, if anything. Spider-Verse was good. Spider-Verse Spider wasn't Marvel, though, it was Sony. Yeah. Spider-Verse was fucking amazing. It was, though. Oh, this guy. This is a version of the the boss from before that was the skeleton. It's just a hand now. Same pattern too. I can't seem to hit it though. Can I just go down instead? I guess not. You hit the witch? Well, maybe. What am I supposed to do here? I don't even know. Worst offender who says blah 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 is ruined now to me is the critical drinker. Can't stand the guy. I absolutely agree. And it's not even because I disagree with most of the critical drinker's points. It's just the conclusions that he comes to about how everything is ruined now because of wokeness and whatever. It's just like, calm down, buddy. It's like, you can just watch She-Hulk and think it's bad independently of thinking like it's going to ruin the entire universe of everything. Yeah, I'm 
getting heated at this stream because we're talking about nostalgia critic and fucking critical drinker. I don't even know that guy. Okay. You're not missing out on a whole lot. No. <laughs> Why don't you just go through this? Because I can't. They won't let me go down the oh, pipe really? until I kill them. And oh, it's okay. easy anyway. Yeah, fair enough. Was he... Wait, he used the woke card? Yeah, he did. It's the thing. If you guys don't like things being woke, just don't go see things that are woke. Because the reactionary culture is a big part of what keeps these things alive. <laughs> it's not just the fans. Oh, okay, finally. So you can throw it on the arm. It's just really, really hard. Fuck Jesus Christ. Christ! You have to be exact. I feel like the skeleton was harder to avoid, but this guy's harder to hit. Mm -hmm. Oh, we got there. We go. Oh, shit. There we go. Kind of have. Come on! Will you just die? I hit you three times. That's enough in video so, game so, logic. Yeah, but Sonic is like eight times, isn't it? I don't know. I mean, it's sure not Sonic all in video games, games, but if it's a mini boss, I mean. Oh, this isn't a mini boss. Yeah, it is. Huh. I mean, I think we're just going through a round of the mini boss, or the it's kind of oh, like yeah. the Mega Man rooms where we go through right. the thing. Do you guys like kaiju movies? Meh. Sometimes. I'm not like I don't like really seek them out a whole lot, but I mean, if they're, I enjoy a good Godzilla movie if I see it. My favorite kaiju movie, though, is The Host by Bong Joon-ho. That is a really funny movie. And a really good horror movie in itself. My but favorite kaiju movie is Titanic. Yeah. I mean, what? What? <laughs> she was calling for her name. It was like, Anne, I want you to kill me. Right in my face. Kaiju movie from fucking North Korea because I was just like I wonder if I can find any movies from North Korea and there was this one director who got who was a South Korean director who got captured by North Koreans and was forced at gunpoint to make movies and one of those movies was Pilgasari which is a horrible movie but it was a Godzilla ripoff so if you guys want to watch horrible North Korean movies Pilgasari Can I go back a little bit? Do that. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, my fucking God. No! That seemed like... Uh... All right. So I'm off to bed. Have a good night, guys. Okay, bye. You're finally home. You're finally not home. Bye-bye. How about Shin Godzilla? Oh, yeah, that one. That shit was weird. Shin Godzilla was okay. 
That was by the Evangelion guy, wasn't it? Best Godzilla movie I've seen is the first one, but I haven't seen a whole lot of them, so I can't really comment too much. Fuck. Oh, oh, damn it. Well, let's see where like it responds, because if it responds to me right before this boss, so then I can have full health. But mm. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. Here, do you want to try it? Sure. BRB, okay. We'll wait for you to come back. Oh, you gotta be kidding. Honestly, from what I've seen, I think I like King Kong more than Godzilla. The first King Kong is one of my favorite movies of all time, but... I don't know if you'd consider that a kaiju movie, because it's not Japanese, but I think kaiju can just mean big monster movie. Doesn't necessarily need to be Japanese. What the fuck, bitch? Worst Adam Sandler movie ever? Going Overboard. That movie can fuck off. <laughs> okay, that is the only movie ever in history where, and I'm not joking, where halfway through it, I took four Advil tablets because I was getting a headache uh, from how awful it was. And Adam Sandler himself disowned that movie, so fuck going overboard. And I don't care. I haven't seen Jack and Jill. I haven't seen That's My Boy or some of the other ones, but... Oh, okay. Save it. I would count King Kong as a kaiju. Yeah. What the fuck? Oh, I didn't see that come. Oh, well, actually, let's see if it starts it here. I don't think it does, but... Yeah. Fuck off. <laughs> For me, it's Eight Crazy Nights. I mean, at least the animation in Eight Crazy Nights is good. I assume you haven't seen over Going Overboard, because I don't think you'd pick Eight Crazy Nights of Going... If you've seen Going Overboard. <laughs> I mean, Adam yeah. Sandler himself disowned Going Overboard. Adam Sandler disowned Going Overboard. That's all I gotta say. <laughs> Is it even worth seeking out? I mean, fuck. I'll say that... I won't say that it's worth seeking out. I don't want to use those words. Um, I'll say I was extremely fascinated by how awful it was, but it was literally painful. Like, it is... I, I don't know, that is in like my top fucking five worst movies I've ever seen, probably. I don't know what my other five would be. Except for like, about last season, that would be... After last season, rather. Just I mean, something. but if you want a definitive answer as to what the worst Adam Sandler movie is, go check out Going Overboard, because I, I don't think that it gets worse than that. Okay, I think I know how to beat it. in a row on like one health wheel that's kind of like ridiculous <laughs> I mean it is the last part of the game but I mean there's limited continues in this game like really isn't that hard 
is just finding an opening to hit him. Because, yeah, that thing is pretty easy to avoid. It's just if you're not paying attention. Two clowns and up in this bitch. Oh, we done it. We done good. Good to know. How about the second worst? I'm not sure because I haven't seen a whole lot of Adam Sandler movies, honestly, but I don't think anything is going to be worse than going overboard. Ever. Uh. <laughs> you just brought flashbacks for me. Going overboard flashbacks. Oof. 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 I mean, I'm happy to beat this game, but oof. Going overboard. You're welcome. Hero. Hero. Seed seed designer. Oh, it's that guy. I don't know. Second worst is probably like Jack and Jill or, I don't know, one of his more well-known bad ones. Mm -hmm. Camel with wrinkled, wrinkled knees. And there's Marcella. Looks like she has a mustache. Hero. <laughs> Why is it like what is that? It looks like an oil drum that says hero. Yeah. Hero. You're welcome, pirate lady. Thanks to M. Ozaki. What the fuck is that? I don't remember that dude. Thank you. Why? We beat you up. Yeah, I don't understand that either. Oh, what's she doing now? Oh, there's Andy. XX. XX. Oh, I have a feeling. Maybe they're gonna say they're gonna fuck because they're siblings. <laughs> they're also just dolls. So. I'm back. Are there any coming ad Adult Swim vids in the works right now? Yep, I'm doing a shorter video on home movies and I'm doing a video on Tom Goes to the Mayor. So look out for both of those. Coming soon to a YouTube channel near you. Really, we've been focusing so much on the reboot. <laughs> video which has gone on for months uh, that that's really taken up a lot of our time but we're getting back to doing smaller content now and uh, yeah so home movies in it and uh, fuck Tom goes to the mayor to see videos about them coming up soon Tom goes to speaking of Adam Sandler have you seen click yeah I mean that one's not a great one but it's better than some of his other movies it's sub it's mediocre. Yeah, it's not a great movie, but it's you know definitely not the worst. It's not bad. Yeah. It's better than Anger Management. I haven't seen Anger Management. Oh, so. Stupid. 
had potential. They they had Jack Nicholson, but they just wasted his potential. Yeah, that's what I was kind of thinking. Like, why is Jack Nicholson in an Adam Sandler movie? I don't remember if I asked this or not, but Primal bit at some point. You did ask that, but yes, it is coming at some point. Not gonna lie, I cried from that movie. Click? Yeah, I mean, like, the dramatic parts were good, but wasn't that funny? <laughs> yeah. That's a, the that's a thing, is, like, Adam Sandler, when he's playing dramatic roles, like in Punch Drunk Love or whatever, he's good. Or in Uncut Gems, but... Yeah, he's not a very funny comedian. Jack Nicholson? I'm Jack Nicholson. That's a Tim and Eric quote. Well, I've heard anger management. I was thinking, like, okay, maybe it's Adam Sandler going back to the basics. <laughs> was he good in basics? I didn't think really. I mean, back to basics. Like, back to his original style of just getting angry and shit. <laughs> yeah, but was that ever funny, really? Uh, better than <laughs> what he was doing. I mean, Happy Gilmore is a good movie. much of his other comedies that I'm a big fan of. Fifty First Dates? That wasn't that good. No. Waterboy. Bad and Billy Bad. Madison. <laughs> uh, I don't know why people consider Bad and Billy Madison to be a good movie. Yeah, it's kind of dumb. Kind of. Like Shampoo is better. It goes on first and cleans the hair. Conditioner is better. It makes the hair silky smooth. Yeah. <laughs> you know what? Fuck Adam Sandler. I like Eight Crazy Days. Eight well, Crazy Nights. <laughs> eight Crazy Days. Well, as long as you don't like Eight Crazy Nights, I mean. Yeah. <laughs> the Eight Crazy Days of those days were good, but the Eight Crazy Nights were. Oh, what's that movie with him and the kid? Is it Big Daddy? Big Daddy. I haven't seen that one. I've seen it. What was it? That wasn't actually that bad. That might have been the best part of his career, to be honest, without him not going too fucking dumb. But you know what I mean. There was a there was a fair balance there. Okay. It was yeah. a fairly balanced Adam Sandler movie. Maybe I'll check out Big Daddy at one point. You almost believe his sincerity at some point in, in certain areas, mm -hmm. or like, but you know, there's a little bit of the Sandler still there, but it's not veering off into retard land but just enough to know that Sandler's still there yeah like I said when he's not when he's doing dramatic performances he's good uh, but when he tries to do the sherry voice the <laughs> that's when I get kind of annoyed <laughs> when he's playing it into his more sincere insincerity it doesn't it can work. Your insincerity? You know, his sincerity. <laughs> when he's playing into his insincerity. <laughs> no, when he's playing to his sincerity. Yeah, exactly. A lot of his movies are just him wanting to go on vacation, too. He's just like, oh, I want to go to Hawaii. I'll write a movie about going to Hawaii. And then that's what Blended was, or whatever. Or... Yeah. Which, you know, if I made movies, too, I'd probably, you know use them as an excuse to travel the world and go, like, write stuff in different places. But I'd have to, I'd try to make the movies good, though. Oh, Just Go With It was funny, though. Is that the one with Jennifer Aniston? I haven't seen that one. Does this go anywhere? No, it's done. No, I mean, it, 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 did you press any buttons or anything? Oh, yeah, I tried pressing buttons and stuff. Okay. I'm just having a good time talking to Chad at this point. No, I just point. wanted to know if, it, if there was any transition screens or anything. Okay, fair enough. I don't know, should we put oh, on something else? It's because the controller wasn't active. But even then. Oh yeah, yeah. even then. Should right. we try playing something else for a little while? We could, yeah. I don't know. Let's ask Chad, actually. What game do you want us to play, Chad? And what are the... What can we play? NES and... Super. We've got a lot to work with. I can play Nintendo, Super Nintendo, fucking... Yeah. First person in chat to suggest a game... Can I suggest a game? Yes, go ahead. What games can you play? We Just play suggest a game and I'll tell you if I can play it. If it's like NES, Super NES, we can probably play it. Uh, I don't know what else you have uh, on there. 
I could see if I, I, I don't know entirely sure if I remember exactly all that time. I'll go get the gummy. The, the yeah. distinguished gummy. <laughs> oh, we can play N64, I guess, or GameCube. Who the hell is Hey, Ash. <laughs> Want to come say hi to our YouTube friends? We're on a stream right now. <laughs> I kind of figured that you might want to know that. <laughs> stream for about another half hour, 45 minutes. Error opening ROMs, load from fat. No, 64 ROMs. Unless... <laughs> what is golden nut? I mean... It's probably in the wrong... Uh, Alright, we're getting some golden eye in here. Just it, that it needs to be in the right place for it. 
Could you maybe suggest a game on NES or Super NES? Because in case this kind of doesn't work. Six. I'm getting kind of annoyed. Yeah, I'll pick a different one. I don't want to bother with it. Yeah, on boring. NES or Super NES. Let's just stick to those two. Mega Man, okay. Which one? Which one? I don't know, just pick a random one. Okay. I guess. Oh, there's Mega Man. Bottom. X, okay. <laughs> what is that? The Mega Man thing at the bottom? I forget. Oh. Mega, Mega 4K. Oh, I don't want to play that shit. It's what is that? What is it? It's a tech demo, basically. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, X. Oh, well. Kill the coup. Ah. Now we're playing... Oh, oh right. right, because I I can't even... Okay, well, fuck it. Uh, let's play X, then. Mega Man X. Europeans played Mega Man X? Yes. <laughs> because they have it's because their TVs are 50 hertz. Okay, so this is probably just not the good, greatest idea anyway. <laughs> Play on a TV that's like not 50 hertz. What the fuck? Oh, you save stated. I know. In case you want your European Mega Man X file. Rev 1? Yeah, that's no. re re revised, the first revision. That means it's like whatever... It's Damn, I feel sorry for them. You feel sorry for Ash? Why? That even looks already smoother. Oh, yeah. Oh, you feel sorry for the Europeans. <laughs> I got you. Yeah, this already... Oh, man. I wish your finally home didn't go to bed so you could actually confirm this if it actually looks like that in Europe. Like... Oh, I thought you did. No, it just disappeared. Whatever. You're not 
kind of that low of health anyway. It's like double. F I thought double tap was the dash, or do I not get dash boots right away? I thought you got dash boots, or had dash boots right away in X. Or maybe that's just. Oh, uh, never mind, maybe not. No, I'm pretty sure you get dash after you beat this level. Maybe it was X2, I'm thinking. I know one of them, you just start with the dash. Well, one of the original Mega Man's just start with the dash, too. Mm -hmm. If not multiple, I think 5 and 6 might do that. Bruh, to you thinking that I was saying sorry about Ash, but the Europeans. I don't know. I thought that was kind of funny. <laughs> Less pace of scrap metal. Did you think you could defeat me? Purple Boba Fett in a robot suit? I think not. Here's X. Or zero. zero. And again, X can equal zero. So maybe they're the same. I guess I'm not powerful enough to defeat him. X, you shouldn't expect to defeat him. He is designed to be a war machine. Remember, you have taped. Not, uh, not reached your full potential. Not potent. reached your full potential yet. Okay. How are you? If you use all your abilities you were designed with, you should become stronger. You may even become powerful as I am. Wow. You weak little puny worthless. Also, go ahead and collect as much information on Signal's Fortress as I can. I'll meet up with you when you get there. See you later. I don't know, I'm kind of giving him a Skeletor voice. First. Yeah! X, I know you can do it! Yeah! <laughs> I know you can do it. Okay, who do I start with first, normally? LMAO, your shirt is the same as the game. Yeah, you can fucking play Mega Man X on me. Usually this guy. Play me. I don't know. I get up, but it might ruin it. Ooh, my body is transparent too. This is what happens when you're a white guy wearing a white shirt. You just become invisible. kind of tricky at the beginning, but I feel like this is a game where once you play it for a while, you get better at it. But I think you have a lot of leniency in terms of like maneuverability. So yeah, you can, exactly. Like, get out of your, get yourself out of trouble. Yeah. The NES games are not like that. Even though I'd say that Mega Man Two is maybe easier than this. Mega Man Two is a pretty easy game. 
Hey, asshole. I'm out of the way. Up I am. What do you guys think will win Game of the Year? By whose publication? Yeah. You'd have to be more specific. Or do you just mean generally speaking? Because honestly, I think Tears of the Kingdom, because it's a Nintendo game, and it's like Zelda, people will just gravitate towards that one. Generally. Uh. Probably Tears of the Kingdom is going to win most of the Game of the Year awards, I would say. Yeah, I wouldn't doubt it. I don't know. I don't ever pay attention to award shows anyway. Be they Game of the Year or uh, the Oscars or... Unless it's Oscar know. the Grouch. If the Oscars were just the Oscar the Grouch show, I would totally watch them. Pick up your face. So this guy, in the Mega Man X lore, this guy isn't Mega Man at all, right? It's a totally different character? I think so. Okay. So these games really shouldn't be called Mega Man anything. Well, it's technically X. Mega Man X. So there was it's like... It's like an improved version of the original. Essentially same idea, but just more enhanced. But who made him? Was it Dr. It was a doctor. It was Dr. Wright. Okay, so where's the original Mega Man at this point? Are they coexisting and going on adventures? I of believe they do co They have and have. I believe they have coexisted. Okay, because you would think that they would work together. <laughs> Baldur's Gate 3, the Kids' Choice Awards are fun as fuck. Are they? Okay. Here we go. Who hosts the Kids' Choice Awards? I don't even know. Some pedophile. I actually do watch one award show, and that is the 420 Awards by Daddy Darren. Hmm. <laughs> Storm Eagle. I think we should kill the stream after this boss, maybe? I feel like we've been going on for a while now. And unless you just want to beat Mega Man X at this point. Mm. Oh, fuck. Yes, kill the stream. Okay. Thanks for coming out, all you wonderful people. We really appreciate it. Like, this is one of the most fun streams for us because we really appreciate it when the audience chips in. I don't know, what do you think? 
Yeah, it's a lot nicer when people are actually chatting. Yeah, so thank you, you're finally home. Thank you, John McCormick. Thank you, Payday 2 Destroyer. Enjoyer. Enjoyer. Payday dude. <laughs> I don't know. I know him from Among Us is sus. That's how I know him. <laughs> Alrighty, guys. But, uh, we love you. Stay oh. in school. We rub you wrong time. Yeah, don't do drugs. It's the last thing you ever want to do. Except for all of it.